Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And to all you wives out there, to all your wives out there that are watching this content with you or without you, good morning to you too. Guys, it is April 12th out here, 2023. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Seriously, we really appreciate the feedback, the support, the moral inspiration. If you didn't know, I'm already inspired by all of you out there, your sisters, your wives, all of you. Guys, I make this content for you guys. Guys, today is a big day for us. Today is a big day for us. Mind you, it's 8.15 in the morning, and it is a warm 69 degrees out here. Yes, we are not in the jacket, we are not in the sweatshirt, but man, I cannot wait to take this shirt off. I mean, oh, let's not get too excited there. Guys, I cannot wait to take the bandage off. Yes, I'm crazy, I'm sick. I am sick in the head, and you can only imagine what the hell's going on under this bandage right here. Oh man, guys, leave a comment down below. Leave a comment, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. Shoot me a phone call, guys, just to tell me how crazy I am. Guys, today is a big day for us. <laughs> oh, man, today's a big day. Today is a big day for us. And I want to give a big shout out to my buddy T-Mac over in the Cleveland, Ohio area. My big buddy Tommy, Tommy Mac over there. You know, he was a YouTube subscriber and considered a dear friend now. You know, all of yous out there, we could all use a good friend. And uh, those of yous that are at part of the YouTube community and part of yous that watch this content, you know, really want to give you guys a big thumbs up. Really appreciate the support. But my buddy T-Mac called me yesterday. He's a YouTube subscriber. He's been following me for a while. Uh, considered one of the old timers. Um, he called me yesterday out of the blue. Um, we never chatted before, but he had the nicest things to say. Uh, we were shooting the shit for about a half hour and, um, you know, we were just bouncing things off of each other and, you know, how he used to do things and, you know, how we do things today and plumbing's not the same what it used to be. Um, you know, the, the trade is evolving technology, you know, we are embracing the technology and, um, you know, technology is making, I don't want to say making the trade easier, but you know, it's making it more efficient out there. We are using the tools, you know, to make the job go that much more faster, efficient, and makes it easier on the installer. So big thumbs up to my buddy T-Mac. He also mentioned, and man, I swear, everything happens for a reason out here. It really does. You know, you, you meet people for a reason. You know, God puts you in this path to run across certain people, whether it's, you know, to grow, whether it's to teach you something bad about them, something good about them, learn from one another. But my buddy T-Mac mentioned about if you can do something good out there in the trades, like donating or running a free service call. And this all brings me back to my buddy, Mikey Pipes over there in the Long Island area. You know, if you can run into a woman or a widow or a gentleman that's in need of some service that is on a fixed income that cannot afford it, what better way to provide a service or a wanted deed, a good deed? Guys, all of you should should start practicing doing one good deed a day. And it's just so funny that a member of the, and this is from Facebook here, a member of the Lions Club, one of the biggest volunteer groups in the district K, um, one, uh, 20 through K district of Howard Beach, Ozone Park area, reached out to me yesterday. And they're looking for an honest plumber that's looking to provide some service to an elderly woman. And I spoke to the lead, I spoke to the lead, the leader of this volunteer group. Those of you who don't know the Lions Club, the Lions Club is a volunteer group. It's a non-profit volunteer group throughout the Queens area that helps the the elderly that helps the elderly that are in need of some company um 
let's say a widow um, that's just lost her husband and she's lonely, she doesn't have family. Um, guys, we're all going to get old one day and we're all going to be put in that position. Um, so the owner, Sam Esposito, reached out to me of the Lions Club yesterday of Howard Beach and Ozone Park. And his post states that it says, attention and announcement, a plumber or someone good in plumbing needed. A senior over 90 reached out. She is on a very limited income and needs a plumber. Not a major deal, but a pipe might be leaking. Is there anyone that can help out? It would be greatly appreciated. Guys, when I saw this post, I had to reach out. And I had to offer some service. Guys, we are all due to perform a good deed once a day, guys. And... You know, it's all about giving back. It's all about reaching out and making the next person feel that much better. So, guys, I reached out to Sam last night, gave him a call. Um, there's a lady in the Howard Beach area. I believe it was Howard Beach. He's going to give me more details today. But the lady is 94 years old. She's a widow. She's got a disabled nephew. Um, she is well known in the neighborhood. She gets help daily throughout the community the crossing guard carmen that works across the street is forever helping her take out the garbage or whatnot just providing a service to the elderly because guys we all know that you know if your parents are still alive you know they're they're either elder or they're going to be old one day and um we need to take care of the elderly guys whether it's performing a good deed Stopping over, saying hello, asking how their day is, guys. We are all going to be there one day. This life is not forever. And if you can do one good deed throughout the day, you make sure you do it. But, guys, today is a big day for us. Um, yeah, we're finally going to take this freaking bandage off. Yes, I'm sick in the freaking head. But, guys, this morning, 8.18 a.m., and we are heading to a toilet stoppage. A customer that we do work for. You know, let me let me get on to the work side of the of the content here. We are going to a long-time customer of ours who owns rentals in the area. We're heading to the neighborhood of Glendale this morning. Um, a new tenant came in, and they have a toilet stoppage. Um, I'm not a fan of stoppages, but you know what? I'm going to show face to this new tenant, and I'm going to use my auger that's back there. We're going to take out the toilet auger that hasn't been used in a while. I wonder if there's any turds left over in there, but uh, we're going to find out, and I'm going to make sure I check it before I go in. So, guys, leave this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned. I know it's only a toilet stoppage this morning, but we got other ones for the rest of the day. But um, stay tuned to when we take this bandage off. You're not going to want to miss it. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this volunteer group. Let me know what you guys think of what's under here. But, guys, leave a comment down below. Get your boots on, tie your freaking shoes, put your belt on, and let's get to it, guys. We're going to go clear the stoppage for this new tenant, and uh, we're going to build another relationship out here. So, guys, like always, stay blessed, stay safe. Make sure your wife's watching, and uh, big thumbs up to all you guys out there. Guys, let's do yours next, baby. All right, guys, we are on the Long Island Expressway. This Long Island Expressway takes you all the way out to eastern Long Island if you're heading east. And if you're heading westbound, it takes you into Manhattan. This Long Island Expressway is long. I think the end is, I want to say, exit 72 out there, all the way out there in Montauk, past Nassau County, past Suffolk County. But right now we are on the queen side of this Long Island Expressway. Right behind us is Manhattan. And uh, we are getting off of Woodhaven Boulevard. Woodhaven Boulevard coming up here, Queens Boulevard. And guys, I've been asking the community, you know, the phone calls that I get, like I mentioned earlier, I really appreciate the phone calls. Um, you know, it really brings us together. And I've been asking the community or taking a poll. And a lot of you have been saying yes. If we were to have a party or a, a get together, all the all the New York plumbers out there that are on the YouTube platform. You got Steve Lab and Miss Molly. You got Mikey Pipes in Long Island. You got the Boston Monster over in Boston. Guys, 
I've been taking a poll and a lot of you have been saying that, man, we'd really like to get together. How freaking cool would that be, guys? How cool would that be if it's not, you know, this year, next year, sometime in the future? I mean, that would just be cool. You know, I've just been getting a lot of feedback of, you know, people really appreciate the content. They appreciate what we are doing out here. You know, some of, some of, some of you guys out there that can't do it, that don't have the ability to do it, or don't have the, or don't have the, how do I say it? The guts to do it. Don't have the guts to be in front of the camera and record and, and be yourself in front of people, guys. If this is just us, this is clearly how we are and how we act, you know, some some of us might have a drier sense of humor than the other. Some might have a crazier sense of humor than the other, guys. It, it, that's what makes us unique out here in this life. And you see me talking with my hands down now. It's not because I'm Italian. It's just this is how I try to express myself out here. But how freaking cool would that be if we all got together and we all just one large gathering we can do like a cars and coffee meetup where everybody just brings their cars and we get some coffee. We meet up at a at a parking lot and just hang out how these young kids are doing. I think they're calling it cars and coffee, these, um, these meet and greets or whatever you call it. But how cool would that be? Guys, leave a comment down below. You know, if you're on the East Coast and you're considering doing that. But I know a buddy reached out to me um, when he saw that I was going on a submarine tour in Connecticut. He is from the Connecticut area. He told me where to actually go and, you know, inquire about this submarine tour. And he's looking to come with me. So how cool is that, guys? You know, we can all use a friend out here. We can all learn from each other. So guys, I'm putting more of this content out now chit-chatting because we're only going to a toilet stoppage here so it's not going to be much work what's going on but if you got a toilet that's backed up and you're you know your typical plunger isn't working i'm going to show you today how to use a toilet auger and uh man i hope there's no turds left over from the last one that i put it in so uh i'm going to show you but guys leave this video a thumbs up we're on woodhaven boulevard here and the uh the speed limit is 25 miles an hour. I mean, you're trying to get to a job and you're doing 25. You know what it's like to do 25 for like four miles. Take you forever to get there. But guys, I hope you, uh, wife likes this content. I mean, I hope you guys like this content and uh, give your wife a big thumbs up and uh, tell the missus I said hi. So guys, at the end of this content, we are going to take the shirt off. No, not the shirt off. We're just going to take the bandage off on the side and... Uh, we're going to reveal what's under there. So, guys, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you at the end. Let's do yours next, baby. There it is, guys. There it is. The world, or New York, is coming to straight crap. CPD, truckloads of CPD. Truckloads of CPD. Kratom. Whatever the hell that is, Kratom, it's a form of cannabis 11 New York City locations and growing. Wow. Wow. If New York City or New York State is not coming to crap, I don't know what is, but man. And you hear what's going on on the radio? I give y'all a piece of advice that is crippled. About racism so here, and now America like being a racist country. Go low, we go high. I bet you Michelle don't even believe that anymore. Okay? <laughs> You now can't make this stuff up, man. No, you no, can't. No. Let me shut this off before we get copyrighted. Guys, let's go clear this toilet stoppage and uh, let's go play with some shit this morning. Here we go. But like I always like to say, and I hope you guys are not chewing on your breakfast, your shit is my bread and butter, baby. And sesame. Hello, Lisa. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Hello, Lisa, good morning. Second floor. Okay, second floor. Where's the elevator? Yeah, right. No elevator here? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm always, how are you? I'm Mike. I'm good. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Same here. 
I had a neighbor over here that wanted to beat me up. Oh. Yeah, a neighbor over here wanted to beat me up. Left or right? Uh, if you come out of the house to the right. Really? Yeah, a couple doors you down. You don't really see anyone out here. Oh, yeah? You don't see anybody out here? Where are they? They're all... <laughs> they're left ones? I, I, right. I only know about maybe three neighbors. And okay. I've been here six years. Six years? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so you know Mary. You know Mary and Al? Oh, okay, good people. Yeah. You know their, uh, their nephews, nieces? No, I only know Mary. Sarah, okay. Well, I know Sarah because she lives downstairs. Okay. Yes. Okay, I used to, um, they used to give out business cards for me and flyers a I couple years that, ago. I heard that Sarah yeah. worked with yeah, you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to pay them a few bucks to help me out. Oh, okay, that's good. Kids, good. good kids, good kids. Right. Where are your kids? You have kids of your own? I have two. Okay, nice. 26 nice. and 15. Okay, nice, nice. Very good. So that's so the what's going on in here? Okay. That's just been clogged for like about a few weeks. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Mary helped me. She did the, um... What was thrown down here? Any lunch? Any dinner? Listen, what? Any I perni? Came, perni? I came home one no day. perni in there? No perni. No perni? No. I just oh. came home one day and I told myself, I was like, this shoe was not clogged. Yeah. When I left in the morning. Uh huh. It's gonna flush now because you're here. No, uh, no it's backed up. Okay. Lisa, yeah, yeah it it's, backed it's backed up. up. <laughs> it's been like this for weeks. Weeks. Oh man! But then Mary did the the, the snake. Oh, that the, the snake. auger, yeah. Yeah, and then it worked. Uh huh. And then it got backed up. Getting. Let me see my note. Absolutely no toilet tissue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the what's this? The pound sign. What's that? Just my little thing. Just your little thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't put any toilet tissue down there. Okay. Good. Yeah. Alright, so let me get my toilet auger here and let's see what we find in here. Oh, let's see. I hope, I, I'm gonna kill somebody. Why? Just, just in case. Why? You don't want to see what's in there? I don't want to see this. Like I said. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Come back? Uh huh. That shit was soft. Really? So I told myself I'm gonna kill you, then you put something in Oh there. man. Or you drop something. <laughs> yeah, <down> yeah. <laughs> Alright. There's no turds in here. There's nothing in there, but we're going in. Alright. We're going in head first. We're going in head first, Lisa. Alright. <laughs> I hope you know how to swim. No, No? You and everybody else is is scared of the water? No, I'm not you don't know how many people, how many people don't know how to ride a bicycle? How many people don't know how to swim? I'm going to, I'm going to start a club where I'm just going to start teaching people how to ride a bicycle you, and know how to swim. My sister-in-law don't know how to ride a bike. She don't know how to ride a bike? No. Even with training wheels? I mean, come on, that's easy. No, she doesn't. Know <laughs> and my son, the little one, yeah. she's like, ride a bike. She's like, uh, and she's older than I am. Yeah. Gee, you don't know how to ride a bike. Yeah, come on. You know how to ride a bike. You're, you're scared of the water. You don't know how to swim. Everybody knows how to doggy paddle, right? Well, swimming, mom never took me for any, you know. Oh, yeah? Any yeah. That's okay, but I'm not afraid of the water. But have you ever seen, like, a baby, when they throw a newborn a newborn baby in the water? It naturally That's knows. That's natural um, it instincts. It naturally knows how to swim. Yeah. All right, guys. We are going in. Head first, we're going in deep. Balls deep. Wow. Let's see what's in there. It brings out whatever you need. Um sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh hopefully it doesn't end up on Mary's table downstairs, a dinner table. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I know they have <laughs> Good thing we ate breakfast before we came here, right? Well, no. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check, guys. Here we go. And that's how it's supposed to flush. You heard it, right? As long as you can hear it and not smell it. <laughs> Yes. Beautiful. What's 
that's on the end of my Olga. Nothing. Beautiful. Alright guys, and if you got a toilet stoppage and you want to know how to clear it, you use this auger right here. You use this auger. It is beautiful, but make sure you get the one with the protective guide on the bottom because you don't want to scratch that toilet. Alright, let's flush it one more time. Let's see. How's this for the thumbnail? Beautiful. Uh, Lisa, do we have any toilet paper here? Huh? Do we have any toilet paper here? Yeah. Where? Oh, perfect. Thank you. I just want to flush that. Oh, you want to test it? Yeah, I want to test it, right? Yeah. I like how you, I like how you have this stuff and not and not like the uh, the thick comfortable stuff, you know. No, that, I don't like shiny. That wreaks havoc. Uh, no, we didn't find anything. Whatever it is, we pushed it down. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it's like a drain. Well, issue. did anybody throw? You guys aren't throwing any of these Lysol wipes down there, are no. you? No. You sure? I'm positive. Okay. No. That's why I keep a bag. I keep the garbage. Okay. Good. Put a bag. And okay. Good. Um, no yeah, wipes, no, right. I don't do any of that. All right, good, good. I'll clean this up and uh, I'll call Al and I'll tell him everything's okay here. Hopefully, Make... let's see how it goes to the day. That's it. <sighs> clean this up a little bit. Clean up our mess here. Clean up after ourselves, good gentlemen. Throw that in there. Turn that down. I should have turned it up. Jeez. One more time. Beautiful. All right, Lisa. I hope all my jobs today are that easy. That was an easy one, right? Yeah, I hope they're all like that. You today. need water? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you for your hospitality. And, uh, Thank you. Hope tell you, everything goes well. Yeah, and tell your neighbors next door to be nice to me, okay? <laughs> I mean, well, you say, I well, I know people don't like when you park in their parking spot, but people think they own a parking spot on the street. Yes. Nobody owns the street. No. You know what I mean? And I love when people put cones out there in front of the house. To park. Oh no, that's because um, there was um, an electrical problem last oh, yeah? week. Yeah. Oh, okay. They said the sidewalk was like electricity. So no, nah, I think they're just they're putting the cones there to hold the spot. Oh. I think people do that, but Whatever. who knows? Lisa, nice meeting you. All right, I'll let thank you. I'll let thank Al know. You. Yes, enjoy the rest of your week. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. All right, guys. So I guess that black cat that we ran into yesterday has been good to us, except for this nasty neighbor over here. And I'm going to show you, guys. We're parked on a dead end block here. And parking already in New York State, New York City is insane. But you know what I can't stand? When people put orange cones in front of their house, acting like they can hold the spot for somebody. Guys, I clearly get out and I move it. And somebody's got something to say about it. Someone's got something to say about it. But here it is. Here's the infamous orange cones. The infamous orange cones. But you know what? I gave the gentleman the benefit of the doubt because he's working here in the house and we parked it all the way in the back there. So there's another cone here and you know, there's another infamous cone. People act like they own the block. And look at this, get a load of this. How about that? Hey buddy, look at this. Isn't that something? You can't park here. You can't park here. That's New York City for you. Unbelievable. Guys, let's put this auger away and uh, let's call the homeowner and tell him that everything is okay here. Guys, do they leave cones out in front of your neighbor's houses where you guys live just to hold the spot? Guys, let me know. Leave a comment down below. But I clearly move them shits unless somebody's got a problem with it. But that gentleman over there was working in the house, so I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I knew we weren't going to be here long, but um, we got in and out. Just how your sister likes it. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Oh, but there's one thing I need to reveal. 
sit tight. You're not going to want to miss it. I know that's what you guys have been waiting for this whole time. So I'll show you in a few minutes. Oh, man, did you guys really think I was going to leave you in anticipation? Guys, I just took it off and it's red and it's raw, but oh, man, it feels so good. Oh, guys, let's do yours next, baby. How does that look for you? Let me know what your wife thinks of that. And let me know what your sister thinks. But, oh, man, if you didn't think I was crazy, that's what it is right there, guys. Let's do yours next, baby. Give this video a thumbs up. Guys, smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And keep tuning in, guys. We're growing this channel organically. And, man, if you want to be part of the team and the let's do yours next slogan, you know who to contact, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Guys, stay blessed, stay safe, and like always, let's do yours next, baby.